At last, Thomas reached the toy factory. He was coupled up to a long train of trucks, and he set off for the toy shop. Thomas had been working hard all day, and he wasn't used to pulling such a heavy load. It's very hard work, he puffed. You can do it, you can do it, sang Annie and Clarabel. Soon Thomas was steaming up Gordon's Hill. Must get to the top, must get to the top, he huffed. But he went slower and slower and slower. Until eventually he stopped altogether. I have to go on, wished Thomas, but he wasn't strong enough. The train started to pull Thomas backwards down the hill. He applied his brakes, but it didn't help. He slid all the way to the bottom. Thomas was very upset. I've let everyone down, he puffed sadly, especially the children. Just then, he heard another engine coming. It was Henry. The workman had cleared the line at the docks. What's the matter, Thomas? Henry asked. Thomas told him. You were right, Henry, he said unhappily. This load was too heavy for me. I should have listened to you. And now I know I need your help. What can I do? chuffed Henry. You take the trucks to the toy shop, whistled Thomas, and I'll pick up the children, but we must hurry. Henry chuffed as fast as he could to the toy shop. Thomas puffed around the island as fast as he could. The children cheered when they saw him coming. You won't be late, he whistled as he steamed from station to station. Weren't. Thomas arrived just in time for the grand opening. It was a magical sight. There were coloured lights, balloons, and lots and lots of toys. The Fat Controller declared the toy shop open for the winter holiday season. Everybody cheered. Thomas was so pleased to see the children's happy faces. You were right, Henry. Thomas tooted, in future I shall leave pulling the heavy trucks to you.